name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Bringing down the curtain at Hollywood Bets Gravel on the poly track will be race number eight, the Hollywood Bets Bright Future 68 handicap, where they will be running over 1,200 meters, a sprint distance. And once again, just an interesting stat. If you look at the merit rating system here, barring number three Enid's Girl, who won the maiden last time out, has been chalked up a 77, but gets the four kgs off the back. If you look at the remainder of the field, they're all racing of a much lower rating. So they've all had their opportunities. Enid's Girl is the horse with the most scope for improvement, and then a horse like number eight, Pashton Wally. But we'll get to that in a moment. Let's kick off with number one, Cape Town Affair from the Dennis Bosch stable. Once upon a time was a 94, is now a 54. So 40 points down in the merit rating system. Has been runner-up in three out of the last four runs. Last time they tried the mile again, went to the head of affairs, a natural front runner. They drop into 1,200 meters. He's got that natural speed. And I believe they put a pair of blinkers on the last declaration I saw. So just keep updated, see if the blinkers stay on. Muzi Yeni, 53 kgs, draw number one. Not going to be as quick perhaps over the 1200, so that's the impression I get while they've put the blinkers on. He comes out the gate over the 14 and the 1600 and he goes to the front. 1200, they go a bit quicker, so they have elected to put a pair of blinkers on number one Cape Town Affair at this time of recording. So keep a close eye on him. He's a two-time winner. He's had three runner-up efforts on the poly and he's going to be a big player. Number two, give me a rainbow. Another very interesting horse because they put the blinkers on last time, dropping to the 1,000 meter trip. A horse who usually comes from off the pace and really quickens up at the business end. However, they put the blinkers on to sharpen him up over the 1,000 and sharpen him up, it did. He was razor sharp. In fact, he came out bounding. He came to the front out the gates and he stayed on for a third behind Father's Frost on that occasion. 1,200 meters is going to be right up his alley. It'll be quite interesting with Cape Town Affair and Gimme a Rainbow because they're drawn one and two. They're very, very pacey and they'll go very, very quick up front and hopefully set a decent tempo. And maybe this time, give me a rainbow, might just take a seat in second if Cape Town Affair goes a bit quicker. So another race that tactic is gonna play a big role here. Tactics are gonna really come into effect here. I mentioned number three, Enid's girl, because she's the unexposed filly, the daughter of captain of all the two-year-old. Number four, Hippocrates. Number five, Blue Eyes, certainly worth a mention. Now with the Comnadu stable, very consistent Gauteng form. Still a one-time winner from the 16 runs to date, so you've got to give healthy respect. And have a look at Blue Eyes in the paddock and the canter past if you are going to have a bet, because I haven't really seen Blue Eyes in the flesh. I've never really watched much of his races, so we'll see number five. Blue Eyes will be on course tomorrow, so we'll get some feedback from the yard and see exactly how well this individual is doing. Hasn't won for 508 days, but Kom Nadu, he might be able to bring this one back into the winner's enclosure. Then the interesting runner for me is number eight, Pashton Wally from the Justin Snaith stable. Richard Faree rides. He's been campaigning over the 1700 and the 1600 of late. If you go back in his form line, he finished second to Coin Spinner and Coin Spinner. He's really done exceptionally well. He's gone on to win a number of races, and that was over 1,200 meters. They then ran him over 1,400 when he won beating the brief. He does shoulder the 62 kilograms, and I believe this is a horse that, off his rating of 72, if you look at the column on the right-hand side, all the excuses. Hung in awkward 150. Lost two lengths, carried out, squeezed, hampered, balked, switched, eased, last time, slow, out, over-raced. So he comes with a, 
a book of excuses, and keep a close eye on number eight, Pashton Wally. I think this is a horse who's going to run an absolute blunder of a race, and we're throwing into all the calculations. So that's a look at race number eight. Very, very competitive. Best of luck to all, and have a wonderful day's racing. Good fun days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together, um, and to have you know companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into into making a day like this possible is uh, it's it's fantastic for everyone.